Well, friends, what, what world are we even in? I am starting filming this on Monday, August 9th. I'm supposed to have had my second kidney surgery today and uh, jazz hands, right? They were able to do everything on August 2nd. I will update you more on that at some point. We, we gotta get dinner cooking right now. So uh, we, we will get to the full, I'll just tell you my whole experience of the surgery and healing this past week. But today, let's get dinner in the oven. So it's a low carb Philly cheese steak casserole. And then I also set out, remember the uh, chicken broccoli rice casserole where I forgot my chicken during my big freezer cooking day? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Also set one of those out and we're gonna have uh, not chicken. I can't, can I say without chicken? We have broccoli and rice casserole and the Philly cheese stick casserole. And I'm probably going to get some fruits and vegetables or a salad ready to go with it as well. I don't have to do two pans, but this morning I was like, I'd like to, to try that other one as well. See how that worked out. So let's get that in the oven. But as I mentioned, coming up in this, by the way, large family meals of the week video, and I'm going to try to show you uh, everything that we're eating up for the next week or so and this video should be heavy in the freezer meals because you know I just recently cooked up my large family freezer meal pack 12 and we did close to 40 large family style dinners so you're gonna see a bunch of those in this video and a lot of other stuff let's go oh and yes and I'll give you again we'll have story time with Jim Morrell and I'll tell you how the surgery went why I only needed one how the last week went, how much hydrocodone I had to have, all that. Okay, let's go for dinner. And so many of you have asked for videos, and I have shown this at different times. Uh, again, just how to show it all and do it all, but you wanted to see the freezer meals when I bake them and when we eat them, etc. So this is the Philly cheesecake, cheese steak, can I say it? I'm trying to say cheesecake, right? Cheese steak casserole with just the provolone on top because I ran out of shredded cheese and then the broccoli and cheese bake uh, and I forgot my chicken. I'm trying to think, where did I put that chicken? I put the chicken, I ended up putting it in the baked uh, chicken spaghetti, didn't I? Okay, and then last week, the week of my surgery, we actually ended up with meals being brought to us and just other meal configurations happening. So now that I'm hoping to take most of August kind of chill anyway, a little gift to myself, um, you won't see any difference in the videos because my videos got backed up in July. So we're just going to keep on rolling for August and um, mama's going to swallow her spit. Ha ha. So I'm going to tent the foil actually on these and go ahead and get these in the oven now. So yesterday was my 42nd birthday. So we got flowers and balloons out here. We went out to dinner last night. Judgmental chicken sisters are, are here for it. <laughs> so, okay, now we'll get some, some veggies going with dinner. So for breakfast this morning, my, my classic trick, but I hadn't made breakfast in a week around here. We did hard boiled eggs. We cut up a watermelon. Lunch, uh, we, had, we had another birthday thing here Saturday. And we did, it was either like taco salad, taco shells, soft tacos, any way you wanted to do it. Had a little bit of that left over, so I had that for lunch. And now we're pulling this dinner together. Here is, let's see if I can say it without saying chicken. Here is the broccoli and cheese and rice bake, yay. I'm just putting the foil back over it to keep it warm. And the Philly cheese steak casserole, I think just needs like three more minutes for the center. It was so close to being the right temperature. And in the meantime, here's how our salad station was working out that's got various lettuce and shredded carrots cucumber also some sunflower seeds and bacon bits and then we have tomatoes on the side for the tomato lovers here's miss amelia salad and then here's mine just waiting on the rest of the food all righty so there's the philly cheese steak casserole and the broccoli cheese rice casserole and uh gonna go make plates now Alrighty, so here is my mama plate and drinking a quart of lemonade and now it's time for dinner, yay. Well, let me tell you, we had food here yesterday. <laughs> had other freezer meals and something fun I made for breakfast and uh, you didn't see none of it because the Lord has answered our prayers though, lost my camera. Mm -hmm. It was not far from where I normally put it. Actually, let me tell you, okay, super funny. So here, let me turn this way. I've got my Vitamix over there. My camera had rolled behind it. 
could not find it at all yesterday. And I felt like I looked everywhere. Don't you hate that? Felt like I had looked everywhere, looked in my purse. I even took like everything out of the trash can and put it into the trash bag. Hi, sweetie. Wow, you look like you're having a real fun time. I had to interrupt this video because I had a question about goat catching. <laughs> so anyway, uh, goats don't need to be caught, but Daniel wants to catch a goat to walk it. That's what, that's what the goats are here for. Anyway, camera has been found. So this morning <laughs> I put the, uh, I almost said salt and pepper because that's two baby goat names. This morning I put sweet and sour pork from the slow, for the slow cooker from the, <laughs> I pulled it from the freezer yesterday. It's been in the refrigerator, put it in the slow cooker this morning. It has cooked for several hours. I need to do the rice for it though. So we're going to have sweet and sour pork over rice. Yes and amen. I probably should cut another watermelon because I got four of them looking at me and uh, summer's just trying to get away from us. It's so sad. But anyway, okay, di dinner time tonight. And I'm in the meal prep frame of mind, so I'm going to also, not related to tonight's dinner, but I'm gonna go ahead and cook up these three pounds of sweet potatoes so that we have them ready to go for tomorrow. But of course the disclaimer is we reserve the right to have sweet potatoes tonight too, ha <laughs> ha. And also all kinds of uh, beautiful goodness going on. This is behind the scenes on recipe testing. So this is, uh, like this is a cheesecake fluff. Several low carb and sugar free desserts that I'm working on for a new low carb and sugar free dessert pack. Yay, it's not in the shop yet, but it's, it's in the works. I mean, come on, come on, how pretty, how pretty. So obviously too many irons in the fire right now. Ha ha, because I just looked, just looked in the sink and I see my sweet potatoes. So, okay, sweet potatoes, let me, I might just put them in a glass dish. That'll be okay. So yeah, lots of cooking things going down and being worked on right now. That's for sure. jury is still out with this but several of you all re um, suggested I almost said requested several of you all suggested uh, says I've been doing so many watermelons this summer that I peel the watermelon so this is how it's been going for me and then at this point once it's all peeled doesn't take that long I just chop it up into chunks and then we'll have a glass baking dish or whatever with the watermelon and we'll eat it and we'll like it and that's that <laughs> Okay, my baby's talking to me in the background, but what I've been doing recently with fruit is these are just these little like corn trays. I think, I don't know, did we get these at Ikea or did we get these at Dollar Tree? They're pretty sturdy. I don't think they're a Dollar Tree item. But anyway, they're little trays that we put corn in and I've also been using them for quick serving fruit. So here are our little watermelon trays. It's gonna go with our dinner, yay. Alrighty, so here is what the sweet and sour pork looks like. We're getting ready to set plates on the table now. So there you go. Sweet and sour pork, watermelon. Sweet and sour pork, watermelon. That's dinner tonight. Okay, so for dinner tonight, I have one of those uh, spur of the moment ham tetrazzinis that I ended up baking instead of the turkey. One of those is in the oven. I actually just got done. I also just cut up a bag of peaches that we had put a bag of, about half a bag of cherries that I need eaten up in a bowl as well. And then I have some other vegetables on the stove. And that's my little bit of brown rice left over from last night heating up. Okay, so some more food stuff going on. And then here's an example of evening laundry. We've got two baskets being done now. And then we have two mores that, two mores, yeah, two mores, two more that need done. And we will be all cut up, caught up on laundry for today, yay. Also, we'll wait for the last thing to finish here, food-wise. I'm gonna open my 
Fair Trade Friday box. This is not um, a sponsored video or anything, which those are fun too, but I'm in their little subscription club. And so I get one of these boxes each month. And then we also have two girls over in Kenya that we give towards their schooling each month. So anyway, let's open this box up and see what we got. Okay, so I got this cute little stickers and sometimes there'll be stickers or stamps. And they usually have a precious theme each month. I meant to show you all my box, so this is perfect opportunity. Okay, oh snap, look at this. You're one in a melon. They, they must have known, right? They must have known I'm the lady with watermelon on my floor, right? <laughs> this is gonna be perfect. Oh, and we've got stickers. Looks like a candle, okay. So, so this little booklet that comes with it each month, shows you shows you what they made so one in a melon melon tastes better when you eat it with your family this is very true very true so it looks like the whole set so we've got a metal serving trays a set of two a melon ball roller we got a candle and inspiration cards isn't that precious and then it'll talk about the different artists that made it it says the mission of Noah's Ark is to empower low-income artisans to break the cycle of poverty and to preserve the cultural traditions, Tobin's gonna talk, he likes it, of their crafts through the commitment of fair trade. Okay, and then it talks about the sun Kiss candle was made by refugees in the USA. Very nice gift tag stickers, and then inspiration cards, okay. And then ways to share the gift of fair trade. We can start a gift basket in a closet, store items you receive but won't use yourself. I, I've done that before in that I did a birthday basket. Yeah, there's the idea. Birthday basket with some different little odds and ends items I had each month that we weren't using and uh, to give and pass on. So I like to support their box and, and that's what we do. We support the box. And then what we don't use for our family, we pass on to others. Oh, cute. There we go. It's mercyhouseglobal.org. Some of you asked me for the website last time I mentioned them. And there's the melon roller. Wow, citrus peel. I smell this through the jar. Can I'm, I'm going to burn this tonight. Oh, and this is precious. An art collection created by rescued teen mothers in Kenya. And look what we found. We found a Hey Friend card. Here's a picture of several of the young girls and their children who are part of the Rama House in Kenya that this ministry helps support. Okay, and my baby's not happy, but here's the ham tetrazzini. Woo, fogging up the camera. I'm going to put the foil back on top and make my baby happy and then we'll finish out this dinner. Alrighty, so here's what we got for dinner. We got our peaches, cherries, blueberries, and then mixed vegetables, brown rice leftovers, and then ham tetrazzini. So now we're gonna start making plates. All right, I hear, I hear the dogs howling out the window or AKA uh, kids coming in to wash their hands. Here's my mama plate and uh, happy dinner time, yay. Good morning. Good morning. We're going outside. Kids are kids are playing. You hadn't been running around playing yet, though. You've been on mommy. Mm hmm. Don't have my makeup on yet. At least got my hair done. Feeling accomplished. So we're gonna go outside. I'm gonna actually finish my breakfast. I don't know if you do this, but I'll kind of make a plate and I'll pick around on it. And I'm like, wait a minute. I need to get this finished now. I'm gonna purposely try to sit down and focus on getting breakfast finished. Some mornings I'm good about it, and other mornings I'm like, oh wait, it's lunchtime. So anyway, I'll show you what I have left that I need to work on. Okay, so drank my coffee, check mark. I had some peaches here. It was only about half a peach, ate that. Obviously, proof, ate some cherries, but I need to really focus on these Ezekiel um, English muffins. They have a natural peanut butter on there, and then obviously banana chopped on top, and I, I also ate that, uh, I don't know, third of the banana that was left, so. Gonna try to carry my baby. Gonna try to juggle carrying my baby and my plate outside. Let's see if we make it. Well, this worked out. Yes, mommy ate, you nursed, and you're in your little seat now. New things in life, huh? 
He's leaning back. When I put my camera down, I will lean him forward. He's been getting in this a little bit and eating his giraffe and working with your little spinny bird. Oh, Dan and Daniel and Benny are digging a pond with a shovel under the playhouse. So that's some other adventures that you hear. Wow, how nice. You could be a nature baby. And there's the trees he's under. Nature baby time. You gonna have your nature baby time? Topin, nature baby time. Yay. Okay, and I'm gonna go get my computer and work on medical bills. Yay. Okay, <laughs> mom life medical bill submission ready. Now this uh, highly organized purple folder is not all medical bills, but there it's a bunch. I don't even know the percentage in here, but a bunch of them. This is just where I have been stashing them. So why Jay Morrell, why do you have to submit medical bills? What is, what, what you doing with your life? So if you all remember back, one of my first videos I did in like 2015, and this was back when I was like, heavy blogging all the time as well was about how we used Christian Healthcare Ministries which is a healthcare sharing organization and whenever we became a 100% full-time work from home family in I believe it was see I had to do it by when my babies were born uh, 2013 when Amelia was born Travis took three months Family Medical Leave Act so we could kind of test my online business that had been very successful which was 100% blogging at the time we just were really trying to like do the right thing be good stewards all that <laughs> so we tested the waters because the numbers on paper worked but we're like will this really work in real life so he came home for three months using Family Medical Leave Act which means they didn't pay him anything they just held his job for him um, and then he went back for when that was done he went back to work for two weeks we were all so sad so we we're like you know what the numbers make sense with this crazy online business I'd been making a full-time income online for about um, a year and a half or so at that point so I was like let's let's give this a shot that's a whole other video I'll link some videos down below that shares more about that hey there's a goat in the background yes Tobin yes more goats anyway so with that decision came the the fact that we still needed some kind of health care coverage for our family being a sole proprietor self-employed I looked at policies way back then that we could buy but I also had a lot of friends who had used a health sharing system there's Samaritans there's Christian Healthcare Ministries there's several of them out there uh, but those are the two that I hear about most often. And we have been with Christian Healthcare Ministries since 2013. We have had four babies using Christian Healthcare Ministries and a handful of, you know, various little ER visits like when Liam, um, and again, there's, there's videos of this, but back when I was maybe three weeks postpartum with Benjamin, Liam was in the forest with his brothers, sisters, and his dad, and he was jumping over logs, and he jumped over this one log, and a stick went almost all the way through his arm. I mean, that was fun. So we've had, like, you know, random ER visits like that. Um, and now he's got the, sc the scars on the arm that looks like a little shark bite. And then what else have we had? Well, and then I've had my past six months or so with my kidney stone embedded down in my lower right kidney and everything that goes on with that. So now, and of course, perfect world, you know, this should have been done. Oh, and I was hospitalized in January, just a whole lot. None of that's been submitted. GJ Morell, how do you have time to do all these things? Well, I don't. <laughs> so that's why, right Tobin? That's why today I'm going to take some time and get all this organized and get everything to submitted to CHM. And then the way that that works is 
They process it all. I do have $500 deductibles. Um, so there's going to be a certain amount that we end up paying in. And I think one of the bills in particular, we just went ahead and paid. Um, and the way that it works is you, you, you put the work in. So I put the work in with making payment arrangements or making payments or paying bills totally. I submit it to CHM. And then the way that it has worked in the past is within X amount of time, sometimes it's 90 days, sometimes it's 120 or so, we get a check back and then we pay everybody um, minus whatever the deductible has been. So that's what I'm doing now in reference to uh, the rest of Tobin's birth and my kidney hospitalization, a lot of, just a lot of things. Now for my actual, this is like way more, way more than you asked for, but here we go. This is how it goes. Um, for like with my urologist office, they had a self pay amount that I paid every time. Um, but there's still other bills. It'll all be submitted. That's what Jamerell is doing today. Yeah. But if you're interested in Christian Healthcare Ministries, how it all works, I will have the link to the original video I did in 2015 that explained the process then, my old blog post. I'll have my link down for Christian Healthcare Ministries down below and my referral code. What you doing? He's teething, so he's been putting his whole hand in his mouth. And I'll put my link down in the description below for you to click through and read more about them for yourself. But that's the, the big thing that's going down today. And if you would like an update, I can update you. Alrighty, so high levels of adulting going on here today, and uh, mama, mama is definitely tired. I just dumped a bunch of salad stuff in here to make us a salad. I also heated up some pans of manicotti, so manicotti, salad, yes and amen. <laughs> Good night dinner. Alrighty, and here is my mama plate, so again, now for real yay dinner, yay. Good morning, it's coffee o'clock. I got about two and a half dozen eggs. In the pot here we're gonna do hard-boiled eggs that seems to be our main repeat breakfast here that we're having a couple times a week right now I got goats balling out the window because it's breakfast time for them too so uh, everybody's waking up around here all right so here yes Benjamin yes so here's my mama plate I got Ezekiel toast some cherries two eggs my collagen coffee we got our eggs there and some fruit that we're having with breakfast well, there was so much yesterday that I wanted to show y'all, but you see what happened is Travis and I ended up going out last afternoon slash evening for mom and dad date, went to Lowe's, went to a different restaurant. We were trying to go to Cracker Barrel. And uh, what I'm trying to tell you is, I forgot my camera because there's stuff I was going to show you at Lowe's. But anywho, whenever we went to Cracker Barrel, uh, it was like a 45 minute wait. 
so that was sad so we went into like a little Chinese food restaurant in the Walmart shopping center but it was a good place and uh, hot hot Chinese food just made me think oh I have some Chinese food leftovers uh, but didn't show you any of that but and the kids at home had another grown-up here and they did homemade pizza with all of that homemade pizza dough that I made for the freezer they did they ended up doing two big sheet pan pizzas so that was yesterday now today I am in here I'm getting ready to record some voiceover for a video um, that will have come out by this point uh, yay for adulting I got all my medical bills submitted aren't you proud of me got that done now after I record my voiceover I've got to uh, continue to be <laughs> full of uh, full of adulting full of adulting strength and there's a bunch of tax stuff I got to sit around and do so excuse me while I scratch my eye um, you know, the excitement never ends around here, I tell you. So, want to get that done because tomorrow we're going to go to Ikea. Uh, we have the county fair starting up here locally. Lots of fun things happening. So, if I can just, you know, stay focused and do my adulting things, then I'll be able to do all those fun things and feel like I checked some major boxes. Yay for mama. All right, so here is dinner. It is a Italian steak roast, golden potatoes. I got a spinach salad with some tomatoes. And that is just one of those flavor packs in my quart jug of water. And that is it for dinner tonight. Well, friends, happy day, happy day. Oatmeal was for breakfast, sandwiches and fruit was for lunch as we were running out the door. I think we're gonna get Chick-fil-A on the way home tonight because we have made it up to Ikea and we are getting our Billy bookshelves today. I meant to put my order in for the Billy bookshelves before we um, got up here so that I could pick them up. But no, we're gonna have to get them the old fashioned way, but that's okay because we're gonna go in the store. And I wanted to tell you where we were going before I got in there with a whole mob of people because, yeah, Mama's going to be busy taking everyone into Ikea, so let's go. Ooh, look at the blue jean pillows. There's an office. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's it's, another room. And then some... I like those lights. Uh-huh. Look, over here they got a whole apartment for you. Park bench. Here, let's go this. So this is a... 590 square feet apartment. You think we can fit? What about driving our shopping cart through here, huh? Oh, <laughs> I, I remember this room. Have we been in this one? Yeah. The TV. Ooh, and look, they got the loft bed over there. Oh. And the little chair underneath. I love all these lights they have. Okay, so there it is. $49, we need five of them. It makes so many hopes and dreams come true. This is just the regular old Billy bookcase, but they you serve us don't. well. We're gonna get those again. I was gonna say, maybe, maybe, maybe green is gonna be the next trend. Those are pretty, very pretty. You guys cooking? This, this is it, we agree. We just need this dropped in, don't we? There we go. So we're very excited. We're going towards the stuffies. You get one. This is the whole reason we drove up here. All the creatures. <laughs> and here on display, this is the same loft bed we have built at home that has, come here Benjamin, come here, let's get a picture, has the shelves. Yeah, it's the beds at home, isn't it? Okay, so big Billy bookshelf things are happening. So on this rainy evening, but we got our bookshelves, we are doing Chick-fil-A in the car. So. I've got a kale salad and this wrap that I love. It has this avocado lime ranch dressing. And then we're gonna drive the two hours home. Okay, so we made it back from Ikea. I'm gonna show you the stuff that I got there, but uh, this isn't a freezer meal, but this gets filed under stuff I want to do, right? So I've got some spinach left. I've got carrots that need a home. I got some zucchini that needs purpose in life. This celery that's kind of dwindling and let me show you. Hold on here, can I get it open? Uh, the ends are turning brown, we'll chop those off. Won't we Tobin? Tobin's looking at me like, she's talking, she's amazing. That's cause I'm your milk factory. <laughs> anyway, 
So I'm just gonna do a slow cooker vegetable soup all day in the slow cooker today. But what I'm going to do for this soup is I am chopping up all these vegetables and I've got some diced tomatoes, got some chicken broth. Uh, this is slow cooker soup on the fly with Jay Morrell. The recipe will not be over on the blog yet because I'm making it up as I go. Um, I'm sure a bunch of onion powder, garlic powder, maybe some basil we'll throw in there. It'll be fantastic. So let's get chopping this up. Oh, and also it's, uh, yeah, it's morning time. It's like 1040. So getting this in now. We'll have it for dinner tonight. I also have two bags of potatoes looking at me that need a purpose in life. So I'll probably wash those and get those baking today. We'll just use them whenever. All right, so I'm looking at all these veggies and I'm also thinking, Jay Morrell, you're gonna outgrow, whoops, my cabinet's holding on to me. You're gonna so uh, overflow that 10 quart slow cooker and you know I'm famous for it. Um, so I'm just gonna move to a stock pot. I can simmer the soup on low in the stock pot all day or medium high. I have one bag of potatoes also. This is 10 pound bag of russets. Um, so I'm not gonna pour them in yet to rinse. I'm gonna rinse off these carrots. So they're not rotten, but they're perfect for soup. Um, but they probably wouldn't be good for like dipping with ranch right now. They'll be okay, they'll cook up just fine. But I'm probably not gonna have any takers. That's my growing chicken bowl for the day. Um, as far as like using them for a side item with a meal. So soup is perfect. This box of spinach kind of half froze in my refrigerator. I've been using that to mix in with salads. So anyway, again, that'll be super in the soup. I'm also feeling tempted to get a chicken and <laughs> cook it in the Instant Pot. But you know what? See, this is how like real life cooking with Jim around the kitchen, I get inspired to do different things. And it's not what I really should be doing. <laughs> so I have just enough time to where I need to use up these old vegetables and make a pot of soup. Uh, but I don't need to boil a chicken and pick it off the bones and do all that today. I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, but we'll get this going so that, yeah. yes, Tobin, so that these vegetables have fulfilled their purpose in life. So that's a great way. If you've got some vegetables that are getting kind of old in your refrigerator, you're not sure what to do with it. Um, of course, you can always bless your poultry, <laughs> but you can also cut them up, throw them in a stock pot or slow cooker. If you think you can keep your volume sensible, ha ha, make a soup out of them. I also have, um, I have some diced tomatoes. I'm gonna throw in there as well, but I didn't say that already. I'm just seeing how many baby carrots I can cut with this one knife at one time. I'm just cutting them in half. You don't even have to do that. You can leave them whole. Maybe I'll do a mix. If I had some more time, I could also do a chicken in it. So this'll, I'm gonna use chicken broth though. Uh, but you could use vegetable broth if you did not want to use chicken or if you were looking for a meatless meal. So I've got, this is um, about a 16 quart. Oh yes, Tobin, he's having a good old time over there. He's got a little puppy, um, a puppy toy, not for a real puppy. <laughs> a kid toy that is a puppy that he is chewing on. Anyway, I'm just going to get all these vegetables dumped in here. And then I'll wash these potatoes and bake the potatoes for about an hour or so as well. And that'll just be a good use of these.
and friends. You can you can say it with me, right? I have been having my 2021 super mega sale over in my large family table shop. Yes, Tobin here's, and that's at shop.largefamilytable.com. Why this sale is important. Now the products over in that shop sell every day. We have well over a thousand fantastic reviews from people who have really enjoyed and used and benefited from the products that I have over there. And I have people who have purchased these products whenever I have one or sometimes two big sales a year. Last year I was only able to get one big shop sale up. This year, I've been joking, now we're in August, but this is the sale I wanted to have in January. Sales on the back end take a lot of work, getting everything ready for it, getting it up and down. You can see that poor little zucchini. It'll still be a good soup zucchini. Hi, honey, how you doing? Meow. Meow, okay, meow. At Ikea yesterday. The kids got, they call them stuffies, got little stuffed animals. Anyway, I've heard from lots of mamas that the sale has been a blessing to them and they've really appreciated all the food helps and getting dinner on the table and sheet pan breakfast and bacon goodies and mega meals for the holidays. So many things that I have been told have been helpful. So I just wanted to, to ring the gong one more time that the sale is about to end. When you see this large family meals of the week video, look down the first link in the description below. I will have the official ending time for you. So go ahead and click if you would like to get all of my current products in the large family table shop over 30. Super helpful. Mama Life Saving Sanity products for over 75% off if you get the biggest bundle for a limited time. I have not been sure on my end date because of a whole bunch of stuff I've been dealing with. And now it's like, okay, I think we have completed this. I actually ended up adding a whole other week to it just because I had trouble getting my videos out and such. And so what you get, for instance, the 12 best-selling large family freezer meal plans, those have the grocery shopping list, big batch cooking guide, helpful freezer cooking tips, and it guides you through making the, the 35 to 40 any way you want to swing it. Meals, uh, by the way, we've got bedroom cleaning going on, we've got laundry being folded, we got, we got homeschool, new homeschool carts being built, we got all kinds of things happening here. Um, I just heard trash bag opening in the background. <laughs> busy day here, but it's raining, so we're trying to use our time wisely and get this stuff done. And also, with those freezer cooking packs, 4 through 12 have the bonus single family recipe edition, which means if you cook that particular bonus guide, it's included in the pack. Some people have wanted to know where's the bonus, it's just there's more pages, okay. So keep on scrolling through the pack and you'll get to it, and it has a smaller grocery shopping list. And uh, anyway, that'll guide you through making like 10 to 12 freezer meals, or you can do the whole pack, which I've had all kinds of family sizes do. If you do the whole pack, you'll end up with, oh, sorry, little zucchini, about 35 to 40 meals. So let me get these zucchinis in the pot. And then packs like the sheet pan breakfast, lunches, and dinners that also has a grocery shopping list, a grocery list where you could do where you could shop for doing five recipes, or you can go ahead and do all 10 any way you would like to swing it. And I absolutely love doing sheet pan meals. They are a lot of fun. And then I also love just getting inspired and using up my old vegetables and making a pot of soup. What do you think, Tobin? Are you fussing or are you happy? Did you lose your puppy? You can't get turned around to see me, huh? He's in his little seat but he's putting his arms up like, hey, wait a minute, where are you? You hear me, Tobin? Anyway, friends, just want to tell you, after this video, you will not hear about this sale and you may not hear about another sale until 2022. We'll see how much uh, mama can pull it together.
all the products in the shop that are in on sale in the super mega bundle are valued at over $480. Most of them usually sell for about $14.99 each, each day. There are a few products in there with a higher value. Anyway, if you get it now in the 75% off bundle, you are getting each product for, it comes to about $3.75, under $4 each, which is a fantastic savings. And I always love fantastic savings. And if you don't want to take my word for it, you can click through and read the reviews from real life mamas and families from all over the world who have used my packs and recipes and have a super best. Okay, so this throw together soup is coming together. I am going to just dump all this spinach in there. It's going to cook down. Right now we look like we have a busted full pot, but this will cook down a lot. So I'm not too worried about that. I am using four 28 ounce cans of uh, diced tomatoes. Yes, Tobin, I hear you. Let me see if I have any serious vegetables in the freezer you could dump in. Got lots of peppers. Is it wonderful? Thank you. Perfect. I'm going to just dump all this in. It's a true dump and go soup. Okay, so this is. 48 ounces of chicken broth. And of course, these vegetables cooking all day are gonna make a vegetable broth as well. So I will eyeball it and add in water too. And I'm not draining the diced tomatoes. I'm gonna put their tomato juice in here. So here's how things are looking. And I'm just giving this, let me work on my focus here, just giving this a few quick stirs. I'm gonna throw in, we'll just, I'll tablespoon it. Okay, a tablespoon of basil. Uh, hmm, who are we kidding? <laughs> the rest of this garlic powder. A couple tablespoons of garlic powder. And then I'm going to fill this pot. Um, you can see the liquid in there. I'm going to do, let's say, 12 more cups of water and get this on the stove simmering. And then we will eyeball the water from there. Again, Jamerell's eyeball in school, right? Okay, that was about a tablespoon and a half. A little more. And yes, salt and pepper, salt and pepper. We'll get in there too. I'm water in a garden. on the stove. Alrighty, so here it is on the stove top. Just again, giving it a few more stirs. Mix up the seasonings I have put in it so far. And I just have it on a medium heat on the stove. And as I'm doing other things, I will check in on it throughout the day. Can't wait to see how this turns out. I just love all the colors and it is super beautiful. Okay, 
Okay, friends, so wanted to show you what, well, I'm not even, I'm not even on this camera. Can I even be, there you go. Um, anyway, I took out the last of that sugar-free peanut butter fudge, put that last piece of chocolate pie back, but it was, it was uh, soothing to my soul when I was tempted to just pull it out. Okay, so at Ikea yesterday, they had these dinosaur activity mats and hey Amelia could you walk me a pair of scissors I bet you by the time you get to me I will not be fully in this okay <laughs> thank you good good assistant I appreciate it okay anyway these activity mats were marked down to like $2.99 and I looked through all the pages that they had there they just look like again for my uh Homeschool mama shelves for all my bags of tricks. There was a lot of different, some dinosaur necks we can color, some little dinosaur eggs, steps to draw in the body. That looks cute. All kinds of activity pages. These are big pages. Little dot to dot. Just goes on and on. So I was thinking it was the same four pages over and over again. I was even happy with that. Look, dinosaur feet. Okay, we got a little color-coded picture. So I'm very happy with this. That's what I definitely, oh, a little maze. Look at that, doesn't that look cute? Amelia's making her lunch. Um, draw another one. So anyway, for $2.99, I got three of them. Uh, especially with, uh, you know, Benjamin in mind, Daniel in mind. Okay, so there's that. And then we are low on our Ikea cups because it has been a while. So this pastels must be their color pattern for this year. Uh, but we have a few of these left and we use them all the time. Who knows where they've gone. I mean, it was at my forest house last time I bought Ikea cups. So it's been a while. We're gonna wash these. I just got two packs of them. Very nice though, with younger kiddos. Uh, I got two more clocks because I want to hang an analog clock in the hallway. And then I have another bedroom where I want to hang an analog clock. And these, these were $4.99 each. Um, and so, let me just say, none of this stuff is stuff I went to Ikea for. I went to Ikea for the Billy Bookshelves. And I'll show those to you and share how that worked out because we had a little mix up at the end. But I had in my budget, I knew I was gonna find Ikea goodies while I was there. And so that, that's what these are filed under. So, uh, and this is, I think it was 32 ounces. Is that right? I mean, it looks more than that. Anyway, these were under $5. And we do usually a jug of milk on the table, um, or we do water and then water refills. And, Kids get up and refill their water, but I just thought, I don't even know how to open this. I guess I'll have to unscrew it. Um, yeah, nice metal in there. So for under $5, I thought, and that might be 32 ounces in there actually. I got two of them because I could see putting one on either end of the table for drinking refills during meals. I, and I just thought, again, all about the kids, right? I thought <laughs> they would enjoy the novelty of having those on the table. Let me open this other one. So these all go in my things that need to be washed pile. Then all of the kids got uh, what we were calling stuffies, just little stuffed animals. Uh, Benjamin got two little kitties. Amelia got a tiger and a kitty. Daniel got a dinosaur and a kitty. Liam got a big shark. Those are my stuffed animal kids right now because uh, other kids have grown up and grown on to other things. But anyway, for Tobin, I just picked out this cute little bear. I looked at the larger stuffed animals, but I thought, no, he's, he'll be thrilled with, thrilled with this. So, and he's into that oral stage now. Everything's going in the mouth. Now, this is something I bought for the kids. Uh, they don't know I bought it for them yet. It's just something I could, I could see them enjoying. One of the kiddos did already ask me today, though, if this stuff was for them to take outside. And I'm like, no, no, it's not. So my vision is I'm going to have a little basket maybe on the counter or on my little shelves there. And these are just little cooking tools. So um, Benjamin 
I get this open now. I really took my scissors back. So let's just rip it open. Um, it's okay. I can't come. I can't make it over there though, honey. That's fine. So we have. Oh, that's what I was telling you. So Benjamin, I like. I'll have a tub of beans for him there, and some different little toys, little sensory bins. But I thought we could have cute little, just little play cooking times. I mean, they already play with real cooking things, but this made my heart happy. <laughs> so we have all these little precious things. Like I said, these things would not go outside. They would be, they would stay in the kitchen to play kitchen in the kitchen. Uh, but look, precious little saucers. I like to mix and match the colors. And whether these go in like a sensory type then or not, just thought it would be fun. And this is what started it, so. And then they had their little play kitchen there too. I think it was like $34 and I was also tempted, but those kind of things I might get a few of. Woo. I'm gonna throw them on the floor and whatever we have the basement done. Um, but anyway, just cute little mini cooking tools. And we've had the full play kitchen set up before. Like I say, the, um, I don't even know. We don't have a play kitchen right now, do we? We had one a couple years ago. It was in the house for a while, then it was outside for a while. I don't think we have it anymore. Little pots and pans. Cute. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, Amelia you likes it for noodles. See, I thought you all would have fun playing with these. It was kind of at the kitchen counter. A lot of times at the kitchen counter, I'll have two or three kids sit there and putter or watch me or talk about things. And so I just thought this could be a special little basket of goodies. Let me show you. So yeah, there you go. Just looked like fun. Uh, I was inspired in the little kids Ikea section yesterday. And so it was a separate set of utensils, the little pots and pans, the four cups and saucers, then the little teapot, little creamer, maybe a little sugar bowl. So all kinds of fun imaginative, imaginative play will come from this. And then out here, we've got them stacked in here for now. So here's where the Billy bookshelves uh, are just for the moment until we get to building them. They are hanging out in front of our bay window in here. So our funny thing that happened yesterday. So I wanted the Billy bookshelves that were uh, 31 inches wide, 79 and a half or so inches tall. We measured this wall, the different walls in here. I was hoping, and my plan was, well, when I'm ready for those, I'll order them and we'll just pay extra and have them delivered. So they're not delivering, to me at least, by my zip code. So we had to make a trip up there, which obviously we don't mind, because I mean, it's, I don't know, has it been two years? It's been a while since we've been up there. So we go up there, I saw they had the shelves in stock. They were the $49 shelves, and I wanted five of them. So we went through the store, took our time. Now I had noticed a week ago when I looked, I could order them and have them ready for us. And that was my plan, but I didn't realize I needed to order the day before. Well, what got me was when I looked a week ago, I could order them and they'd be ready that day. And I wasn't ready for that kind of commitment. So I was thinking when I drove up yesterday, I could do same day. But anyway, it wasn't working for me. I knew we'd have to, you know, get the cart and go get the shelves ourselves, which was fine. But whenever we got there in the warehouse, wah 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 they were empty so sad it's like we drove two hours we spent all this time wait a minute why why would you do it ikea so went to the helpful lady um she told me they do still have like a hundred of them in stock but they're way up high in the warehouse it would take several days to get them brought down so quickly i'm scrambling i'm going through the ikea website i'm like okay I'm here for shelves. I need to come home with some sort of white shelves. 
So she started helping me on her computer there, looking for different shelves. Um, there was another set I found, but again, it was a little taller, and I had, I don't know, I had six, I had six of nine kids with me, or seven of nine, I had seven of nine kids with me, uh, and my mom, and you know, kids are sitting on the floor, and the line is lining up, you know, just like, to me, that's pressure, mom pressure on my mom head, right? <laughs> so uh, the lady did tell me, well, we have the same height Billy Book shelves, and they're 15 inches wide. Now, I'm familiar with those because when we did our whole Ikea room full of bookshelves at our last house, uh, every so often we had one of the small, the 15 inch sets in between the 31 inch ones. So we'd have like maybe two 31 inch ones, a 15 inch one, two 31 inch ones, a corner one. Uh, so we did them like that. So what I decided, drum roll please, what will the internet say? I don't know, but, but here's what we're doing. <laughs> Spur of the moment decision, I was like, okay, well, every two of the 15 inch wide shelves basically equals you know, of course, we're off an inch. Um, the 31 inch wide shelves. So instead of five of the 30 inch wide shelves, I got 10. We're just gonna have bookshelves that every 15 inches they have a divider and hopefully it all still works out fantastic. It could be the worst thing ever, but that, that's what I decided there with children looking at me and with the line adding up and knowing we had to drive two hours back home that was my pressured decision. Will it work out? I don't know, but I'm thinking, I mean, obviously I won't be able to have 31 inches of books lined up, um, but it's still gonna be the same amount of book space. I mean, this is just a little little red organizing box right now that we've got the different little Ikea cook with me play set. She uh, stacked the cups real cute. Check in on how our soup is going. I'm going to turn that down a little more. Now that spinach is not too offensive. <laughs> All right, so I'm about halfway done with my first bowl of my throw together vegetable soup. While I'm eating it, I'm here watching another video from editing and approving that to get it out to you. So behind the scenes look on how things get done. Agree, yes, J. Morrell, you've had a sale. Yes, J. Morrell, it's over or it's about to be over. But because of the uh, mom of nine doing a few things world that I live in, I need for you to click the first link in the description below to go over and take advantage for the 75% off super mega bundle that is currently on sale at the time that I'm posting this, but I will have the exact date and ending time for you with the link in the description below. You follow that? So if you're watching this, um, I don't know four days or a week or a year after the posting date the sales long gone if you're watching this the day or even the day after it posts i am wrapping this up but those exact details see you can follow along here those exact details are going to be in the description box um blah, 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 blah. <laughs> those exact details will be 
in the description box below along with the link. And as you know, this is the only sale I've been able to pull together for 2021. Don't know that I'll be able to have another one until 2022. So if you would like to get all of my current products in the Large Family Table Shop for less than $4 each, I believe it comes to about $3.75 or so each, uh, where they are regularly $14.99 each, this is your last opportunity to do so. All 30 plus products that are in this bundle have a value of over $480 because there's some planners and other things in there too that also have a higher value. So anyway, meal plans, slow cooker plans, electric pressure cooker plans, sheet pan dinners, sheet pan breakfast, sheet pan lunches, 12 different freezer meal cooking packs and guides mega and lots that's all i've got that's why i'm like click the link for you to see it all because i'm trying to show you as best i can anywho thank you so much for your prayers and your kind words and thoughts while i have had my surgery and my healing time i am uh, ready and rip roaring ready to go with all kinds of great things for you coming up also in the comments go ahead and tell me what other kind of videos you would like to see me doing over here on the channel now that I might have my fr my full brains in my head about me. Uh, all of those things would be so good to know and I'll see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye bye.